Vielen Dank. Moin, moin. Somebody told me to be patient. I'm not patient no more. Somebody told me to be frightened. I'm not scared at all. Somebody told me that they knew right when the sun was gonna fall. Somebody told me to be quiet, but I am gonna scream, cause I've been sleeping, I've been dreaming, it's time to speak of what I've seen, somebody told me life's no better on the silver screen.
Where are you going? <laughs> oh yeah, where's everybody going? That's not a good sign after the first song. But thank you so much for, for coming out on a school night. Um, it's it's crazy to to come here at you know, six o'clock at night to set up and, and you know, there's maybe five people here or ten people here, and it's a, a Tuesday night, and then all of a sudden, everybody just starts riding bikes or driving cars and, and comes to listen to music um, at this little place that um, seems like it's almost in the middle of nowhere. But it's um, it's it's crazy. So thank you so much for for coming, Ben. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but he's in there. Um, Ben's much funnier than I am, and much better looking, and has much more chest hair. <laughs> so it's lucky that he went first. Uh, and it also gives a chance for everybody to drink more beer, because the more you drink, the better I sound. So, if anybody would like a spoon for the top of their beer too, it looks a little bit like an ice cream. I've never seen anything like it. 
But uh, I thought I'd start nice and slow to warm up, but um, seeing it's Tuesday night and nobody has to go to work tomorrow, I'm going to do a faster one for you. <laughs>
Ben was so polite. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Ben was so polite saying um, how nice I was and, and what a good songwriter I was and all of this stuff about my performance and that you shouldn't go anywhere. And Ben and I only just met. Um, a couple of days ago and Ben's never actually seen me perform. <laughs> so I'd like to thank Ben for telling everybody <laughs> how good this was going to be. Because we've never actually seen each other play. That's the first time I've seen um, Ben's whole set. So it was, a, it was a pleasure. I had a lot of fun. And appreciate you telling everybody not to go home. If you do have a computer, you might have seen this song before. I, I recorded it on a, a live CD and a live DVD um, two years ago, three years ago. And uh, I recorded it with lots of different cameras just so you could see exactly what's happening up here because a lot of people when they see me play for the first time, they think that I just, uh, I have a CD player. And I just press play, and I just press stop. But um, I want to introduce you to my full band. So, I actually, uh, I brought eight people from Australia with me. And uh, I'll introduce you to them one by one here. Using this thing, uh, it's called a loop pedal. So I used to play with many people in Australia. Uh, but it's much, much less money to, uh, to buy this pedal and then you can travel around the world and you don't have to pay for aeroplane tickets or anything for, for anybody else. Uh, and most of the time it argues a lot less than other band members, but I'll... Uh, you still have to split the check up? <laughs> yeah, and I never have to pay every, anybody else. So I'd like to introduce everybody. This is my bass guitar player. Uh, his name is Daniel. and a trumpet and a saxophone.
upstairs, you're talking all around me, baby. It don't mean a thing, no. Cause I woke up alone this morning and only God knows where you Somebody take away these Said I would rather go blind yeah. Take away these eyes on me You know I'd rather go blind and See you by another man's side Maybe it was the drummer that was drunk Someone's not quite there then there's three singers, girls as I Baby, baby There's people talking all around me, baby Oh, but the words don't mean a thing There's people talking all around me, baby It don't mean a thing, no Cause I woke up alone this morning Is everybody feeling good? Yeah? All is clear? <laughs> I think I've been to Germany four times and my, my German, my Deutsch, is uh, still just as bad as it was the first time I came here. I think it's been two years since I, I was last in Germany, so I've lost all of the, the language that that I did have, but I can remember Moin, Olis Klar, Echurikun Fuusi All the all the essentials. The first word I told you you have been in, in Germany was Kugabe. Yes, I know that was what because I didn't know what people were, were saying. I got I got to the end of a, a show in Germany and everyone's going. Zugaba, Zugaba. And I didn't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing. I was like, Get off the stage. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I was I was re reminded today. It's good to have some familiar faces in the audience. But I think my favourite. German word is the word for the, the number five. <laughs> Thump. <laughs> Thump. It's like there's no there's no vowels in there. It's just all uh, it's just like F N F. <laughs> how, how do you spell that? Oh, there's a U in there. Oh, and an E. Yeah, we don't have dots in English. <laughs> <laughs>
I know. I said, um, I said today it's like the, the cars that go past you on the autobahn because you don't have you don't have speed limits here, which is crazy for us because we might be be driving at you know I think in in Australia the fastest that you can ever go is 110 kilometers, the fastest ever anywhere. In Canada, I think it's 120. I don't know. In, in America, it's you know it's around 120 kilometers an hour. So we're driving along the autobahn, and then there's all these cars going. <laughs> Just flying past. Anyway, that's my, my German language lesson. Is there any German teachers? Any Deutsch teachers? No. Well, you're all German, so I suppose you can probably teach us the language pretty well. That's. I think I would like to learn some more language this trip. Anyway, um, I'll play some songs. This is a, I'm, um, I'm really, really happy to be back in, in Germany because I have a, a new CD, which I didn't have last time. And uh, I've been living in Bali, in Indonesia, and that's where I recorded this CD now. Um, we have a house in the, in the jungle in Bali. Hi, hello. And the, the, I had to record this CD between 12 o'clock midnight and 4 o'clock a.m. in the morning because uh, if anyone has ever been to Asia or Southeast Asia, there's always so many motorbikes and it's so noisy. So I think about 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock at night, it was quiet enough to start recording. And then at 4 o'clock in the morning, the roosters would... Uh, <laughs> They'd start and then I'd have to stop recording so I had about four hours every day. But so that's what uh, that's where this song comes from. So this is a song called Pockets, it's the uh, the title track. If it was Australia, I wouldn't bother tuning because everyone would be so drunk by now that they wouldn't matter. But everyone's always so quiet and respectful in Germany that I'm always nervous to make a mistake. Or if my guitar's out of tune.
I just want to get this, this funny looking slide guitar out for, for maybe just, just one song. I, I know that. Put your hand up if you have to go to work tomorrow. Work? What's the word for work in German? Scheiße. I think I can nearly see everyone 
we set everything up and then we realised that there was a, a giant pole right in the middle of the stage.
you want one more song on this or back on the other one? One more song on this? Can I do a sad song? Is that okay? So uh, I'm going to do a song. Actually, I wrote uh, this song is called "Song for Yens," and uh, it's a it's got some pretty strong ties with Germany. And I haven't uh, I hadn't played it for for a little while until another friend called Jens came along today and um, I finally got around after about two or three years I finally got around to recording this on the new CD but uh, just a really quick story about this song was uh, this particular guitar is called a, a Weizenborn which uh, is a, a guitar that was made popular by a, a German guitar maker, but uh, the guitars became really popular in Hawaii. You sort of get that, that sort of sound. Um, but I was playing this particular guitar and a lady uh, heard me and she came and spoke to me and she told me that when I played this guitar and when I sang, I sound just like her son, who was called Jens. And then she saw, told me a, uh, a really sad story about how she had lost her son. He had died one year earlier in an accident in Germany. And, uh, and this lady was from Munich, but was living in Australia. And, and she asked me, would I write a song to celebrate the life of her son? And it took me uh, over two years to finish the song. And the only thing that she ever asked was that she wanted to be in the audience the, the very first time that I performed the song. And I was overseas away from Australia when I finished the song. I was actually coming to Germany for the very first time in uh, 2012. And I sent Christina, this lady, an email and said, I finished the song, uh, but I'm actually in Germany, which is where she was from but I'll see you when I come back to Australia. And she wrote an email back and she said, thank you, I'm very excited to hear the song. We'll see you soon. And then about one week later, I was playing uh, in Locks Cafe, uh, which is in Bream. And Christina walked through the door and she'd flown back to Germany from Australia and she came with uh, some of her son's friends that were with him the night that he passed away and also her, her husband and she, she said to me the reason that we have flown back to Germany to hear the song tonight is because today is the 28th of August which is also the same day that Jens passed away three years earlier and uh, it was a pretty emotional night and I think there were some people there's some people here tonight that were there so they they can tell you that this story is 100% true and uh, I didn't do a very good job of, of playing the song that night because I was crying so much and I'd been playing music full time as a career for maybe four or five years and it wasn't until that moment that I realised how powerful music can be and you don't have to be playing the biggest gigs to thousands and thousands of people all the time to connect with people. Sometimes you connect with people you know, at Huffet Casino or you know, somewhere small like this. So, uh, I'm sorry if I've made you cry already. I know there's a, a couple of people that are already. It's a it's a it's a story that changed my life, um, and definitely changed Christina's life as well. And I'm going to apologise in advance because people tend to cry by the end of the song, but I'm not. Sure
sure if I've ever had people cry before I even start. But there's a, a first time for everything. So this is the song that I wrote for you. Mm. Today's not another for goodbyes. Just another till we meet again. Further down the line. Tomorrow is gone for something so young. Something so beautiful, something so strong. They say it's darkest before the dawn. I've still got time. 